Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video we will go over an introduction to drilling fluids, discussing general overview about mud types, mud functions, mud chemical composition and mud properties, and the instrumental devices used in testing. Later on we will discuss each and every aspect regarding mud in details, for instance mud rheological properties, flow models, and regimes, mud conditioning and well cleaning, rule of mud in well integrity, control and stability, and mud loss, circulation, the frustrating, costly and time consuming problem. Let's start with the introduction. A drilling fluids is an essential part in well drilling, completion and work over. What are the main features or functions of drilling fluids? Well cleaning, calling drilling string, well integrity and control, maintain well power stability, getting well information, information about the uh, formation and well uh, condition, and the transmit hydraulic energy. The first one, well cleaning, mud perform cleaning uh, by uh, letting the cutting of the formation to the surface by having the proper uh, properties that make the mud capable of uh, carrying the fluids, uh, carrying the cutting to the surface and suspend them when the drilling or operation boost. The second one, cooling and lubricating drilling string. As we know that the temperature is encountered in hall as a result of heat of deep formation and friction heat from rotating of drilling string that will lead to drill string wearing. However, function of might here is to reduce the heat and lubricate drilling string. The third function of the drilling fluids formation has two pressures, pore pressure and fracture pressure. During uh, drilling or work over, wheel is full with mud and the hydrostatic pressure of mud column is called hydrostatic pressure and it is depend on mud weight in which to control the wheel while operation. In other words, a hydrostatic pressure of the mud column should, should follow in between fracture pressure and pore pressure so that the hydrostatic pressure neither frack the weakest formation or let formation of fluids uh, in turning into wheel power and flow out. So the mud function here is to balance formation stress. Uh, well stability so mud maintains the well stability in regular, keep the, uh, the hole in regular size and in cylindrical shape. While drilling with mud, part of the fluids filters into poor voids of formation due to force of pressure and leaving behind mud filter cake on face of the well power walls. Thus, mud filter cake containing bentonite limits hole enlargement, especially sandstones formations. Mud Containing inhibitors control mud shell interactions by hindering sloughing tight hole phenomena that leads to hole cleaning problems and water sensitive formation, especially in water sensitive formations. With good chemical compositions and rheological properties, mud can provide stable formation. So, transmission hydraulic energy, mud fluorate here is function to make hydraulic energy that provides power to motor to mud motor and WD measurement while drilling and logging while drilling. So the hydraulic energy depends on bit nozzle size and mud pump horsepower to optimize jet impact at bottom hole. The last function of drilling fluids that we, we are getting information about the formation that we are drilling and the condition of the well. While drilling mud circulates out the, uh, the formation cuttings, by testing the cuttings on surface, information can be collected about formation and well condition. Also, uh, measurement while drilling, logging while drilling information transfer to surface as a pressure passes through mud. The transmission medium here is mud. We will discuss the six different types of uh, drilling fluids and show the disadvantages and advantages and the major differences among the uh, drilling fluids or we, we call it in other uh, definition mud. It is a combination of uh, liquid phase that can be water or oil or synthetic materials and uh, added to that 
some chemical composition such as clay, pentonite or pyrite in order to get the required properties to drill efficiently. Here there are six different types of drilling fluids, oil based mud, water based mud, synthetic based mud, dry air, aerated mud, drilling with foam. We'll proceed with the first one that is oil based mud. So the liquid phase here is natural crude oil. Uh, it is used when the pore hole condition required to use oil based mud uh, such as drilling water sensitive formations. Also it is used to reduce the drilling problems uh, that is belong to water based mud uh, or we can say we can say in other words cannot be overcome by using water based mud uh, for example uh, tight hole washout and so on also it is used to stabilize borehole formations the second type synthetic based mud it is known also as low toxicity oil based mud uh, techniques used chemicals emulsifiers to disperse synthetic hydrocarbons as the external phase instead of using natural crude oil. This type called green fluid because it is environment friendly and it, because it is environment friendly it is sanctioned to dispose the cuttings into water that is why it was specifically designed for offshore drilling. It can also take part in reducing losses while drilling also, it was developed to meet difficulties drilling targets such as drilling water sensitive shells. We will know the details of this in the upcoming videos when we will discuss the rheology losses, formation damage and extra. So the third type here, water based mud. The liquid phase here is water. Water can be fresh or sea water or salt water. Other additives might be required in order to get the required properties to drill efficiently. Also, dry air can be used as a drilling fluids, but extra equipment or auxiliary equipment will be required such as the air rotary, air compressors. So we use this or this used to avoid frack the unconsolidated formations. We use here air to cold the drilling pit and the drilling string and also to lubricate them while drilling in order to prolong their life. It is used to bring up the cuttings to the surface but we as we can see the sample of cuttings or the quality of cuttings more efficient than using the previous two fluids because there is no contamination with water or oil but using dry air cannot be used to drill water content formation the aerated mud here air and mud or water used together in order to balance downhole pressure and to allow for a fall return. So the circulation not allows liquid or cuttings to fall down the annulus. So that will prevent drill string from getting stuck. Total losses here or total circulation means no losses to the permeable formations. So that reduced formation cooling and will lead to increasing in temperature. So the heat here will reduce the life of drilling string especially the pit also here the disadvantages quality of cutting changed not as using dry air because of the contamination this means this fluid can be used to drill water content formations so the last foam so here we need to pay attention or to concentrate on using the right foam for the right formations also foam increase ability to lift cutting and separate the cuttings from water that's why this preferred to be used in drilling the formation that has water or the water aquifers but we need to choose the proper forming mixing procedure while using the air also to adjust the air injection to the optimum uh, to the optimum level creates for high stability color of the foam we can see from changing the color of the foam that we are entering or start drilling different formation this chemical addition to drilling fluids the major required properties of drilling fluids and the common instrumental devices used for testing of the properties as we can see here the major or the required chemical products 
needs to be added to the drilling fluids in order to get the required properties for drilling. Bentonite pyrite causes soda viscous fires inhibitors. The bentonite swells in fluids and creates viscosity, while the, sol the pyrites contain solids that has heavy weights used to increase the mud weight. <coughs> Caustic soda used to increase the pH. Viscous fires to make the mud more viscous. And last, inhibitors to lessen formation damage. We gonna discuss these two, uh, these uh, aspects in details in the upcoming videos. The major properties of drilling fluids gelation. We need to make the mud more gelatinous to in order to suspend cuttings from falling down while drilling is boosted in static conditions. Density used to control the well by making the pressure balanced while operation. Viscosity and yield stress measures the resistance to flow and ability to carry cuttings to the surface. Free fluids and fluid loss measure homogeneity and filtration rate of the mud. pH enables chemical reactions and condition hard water. So the pH lessen the required chemical addition or chemical products by making the water more pure or fresh while the inhibitors control mud to shale interactions and it is best for drilling water sensitive formation. Here are the common devices used to measure the properties of the mud. pH scale to measure acidity and alkalinity. Normally the mud has higher pH, not less than 9. In the next videos of rheology and loss circulation we will study why in details. So the rotational viscometer used to measure plastic viscosity, yield point or yield stress and gel strength. Filter, uh, filter press to measure filtrated fluids. Marsh funnel to measure viscosity but here the viscosity well measured or exact measured by using the rotational viscometer. Mud balance to measure the density and finally potassium chloride and some other chemicals to measure the salt. We need to measure the salt of the drilling fluids to know whether we are drilling formations contain salt or the salt indicates gas or kick blow out.